Hey everyone, welcome to another ranking, and here's my ranking of all the Matrix movies. I know, I know, I'm a little late on this one because I did my review of Matrix Resurrections uh, about a week and a half ago or something. Um, been so busy. After I did my best and worst of the year, I knew I would have no time for videos. So I was gonna, you know, just do the Matrix video later. Now it's later, I have time now, so... Uh, Matrix Resurrections came out, I uh, didn't like it, check my review out, but there's five Matrix movies and let's, let's rank them. This is my personal ranking of all the Matrix movies, theatrical release, or was one, that was one of them, yet? whatever. Five Matrix movies, in my opinion, least favorite to my favorite, let's get to it. Number five, Matrix Resurrections. <laughs> Um, check my review out, you'll, you'll, you'll see everything I have to say about this movie, I hated it, hated it, I know some people like it quite a bit, it's very divisive, it's a very divisive movie, um, I, I just, I fucking couldn't stand it, I just, I, I, I hated what they did with Neo and Morpheus and Trinity and Naomi and all of them, I hated that the first hour is just a rehash of the first fucking Matrix movie, I didn't like the action, I didn't like the ending, I didn't like what they did with any of the worlds or the characters. I think it's an absolute insulting sequel of for the Matrix films. And as bad as 2 and 3 were, they never really destroyed the franchise. At least we still had the first film. But this one is even trying to destroy the first film. And that I can't live with. So Matrix Resurrections is, to me, the worst Matrix film. Number 4 is Ma Matrix... Uh, uh, Revolution from Revolution. They all have R's. I let's confuse them, but Revolution is a bad movie. It, it it becomes a cartoon. It's a very cartoony film. Matrix was a very deep and you know tough and serious and greedy sci-fi action film. And the second one got cartoony. This one gets very cartoony, especially by the third act, and where he's fighting a bunch of Asian Smiths, and it's like an episode of Dragon Ball Z, and they're flinging around and stuff. It's very goofy and silly. It's very hard to take seriously. Uh, there's also dialogue like this. Cookies need love like everything does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... Hugo Weaving is always, like, having fun. I, I, I think he's my favorite in this movie. But it just doesn't work. It, there are moments here and there that are good, but the beginning's boring, the middle's confusing, and then the ending just turns into a cartoon. And just it's it's a bad movie. I always thought it was the worst Matrix, but then this new one came out. It's like, hey, hold my beer. I'll pop that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Uh, <laughs> number three is Reloaded, the second Matrix film. Uh, some. Good stuff. I like the score. The score for this movie is very good. Very good. Uh, I like Lawrence Fishburne in the movie as Morpheus. He's always good. Uh, I like some action scenes, some of them. Uh, the freeway chase is really cool. Um, the uh, scene in the mansion where Neo's got like the, like the size and he's fighting the guys, that's a fun action scene too. And I like some of the villains, like the, these twins that can like, go through things they're pretty cool and stuff but uh yeah other than that there's there's a lot of weird stuff this all the stuff with like agent smith is very silly the whole fight scene when he's fighting the agent smith it, it, it's very cartoony and ridiculous and even some of the philosophical things it tries to be very philosophical and very deep like the first film but it, it becomes stupid and contradicting to the first film and it, it just doesn't work and even the new characters they bring aren't very interesting. Uh, it's by no means an awful film, but it's not very good. And it's very lackluster compared to the first film. So. Number two is The Animatrix. The Animatrix is a very good movie. It is a bunch of short stories. It's like anthology stories about The Matrix, different people in The Matrix and outside The Matrix and stuff. Uh, you get to see the story of the kid who got to meet Neo, the bald kid, in the second film. You get to see his story. And some of the shorts were directed by Cowboy Bebop creator Shinichi Watanabe. The animation by all these stories are really creative. It's uh, 
very smart. Some of the stories aren't as interesting as others, but it's very smart. And I love how they integrated a lot of the stories together. And I thought it was a very neat idea, the Animatrix. I, I really thought it was a very cool idea. If the first Matrix came out and then just Animatrix and that was it, I would say that's a hit for me. But no, they had to keep getting that money. But Animatrix, solid film. But the first, yeah. Number one is the first Matrix. The Matrix is a great film. It revolutionized action and kung fu scenes in movies. I know kung fu. <laughs> uh, some of the action and the slow motion is just incredible. It's mind-blowing. It's one of the best action blockbusters ever made. Uh, it gave us an iconic character of Neo, played by Keanu Reeves. Lawrence Fishburne is just killer in this movie. Hugo Weaving as Agent Smith is awesome. Uh, I love the ideas they tackle about reality and dreams and in the future and technology. All really good stuff. This is actually not only just a good action movie, but it's a very deep and profound science fiction movie. And my favorite scene is when he's talking to the kid, when he's going to see the Oracle, when he's trying to bend the spoon, and all that is very good. Very good writing for this film. And I've always been a fan of the first Matrix. It's a very difficult film to hate because it's just so cool and so unique and just so well made and just, I love it so yeah that was my ranking of all five Matrix movies in my opinions on the comment section but please tell me what is your ranking of all the Matrix films in your guys opinion comment below let me know and as always if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side